Hello, fellow tech enthusiasts. Welcome to Tech Buy World, your go-to destination for all things tech and architecture. We are thrilled to have you here as we explore fascinating topics from around the globe. Today, we're turning our gaze skyward as we delve into the world of the tallest building demolitions. These architectural giants have stood tall dominating city skylines only to be brought down in spectacular fashion. Before we dive into the world of demolitions, hit that subscribe button and join the Tech by World community. Now let's get started with our countdown. Starting off our countdown, we travel back in time to 1968, in New York City, the home of the Singer Building. This towering marvel was once the tallest building in the world, standing at a staggering 47 stories high. It was built in 1908 as the headquarters for the Singer Sewing Machine Company, a testament to the era's industrial charm. The Singer Building was a beacon of architectural prowess, boasting a unique beau art style that stood out amidst the city's ever-growing skyline. Yet despite its historical significance and aesthetic appeal, the building fell victim to the city's relentless push for progress. In 1968, it was demolished to make way for the construction of One Liberty Plaza. The Singer Building holds the unique distinction of being the tallest building ever peacefully demolished. Though it no longer graces New York City's skyline, its legacy lives on. The Singer Building, once an icon of New York City, now remains only in photographs and memories. Moving forward, we come to the tragic case of the Deutsche Bank Building, another titan of New York City. This architectural giant, rising 41 stories above the bustling streets of Manhattan, was more than just a structure. It was a testament to human innovation and the relentless pursuit of progress. Constructed in the early 70s, the Deutsche Bank Building, or 130 Liberty Street as it was also known, was a mainstay of the city's financial district. But the building's story took a tragic turn on September 11, 2001. The Deutsche Bank Building, sitting just across the street from the World Trade Center, sustained severe damage in the attacks. Its facade was torn apart, its interior was ravaged by fire, and toxic substances infiltrated its structure. In the aftermath, the decision was made to demolish the building. But this was no ordinary demolition, the presence of dangerous materials and the building's proximity to other structures made this a meticulous, painstaking process. It was a task that required the utmost precision and care, taking almost five years to complete. Day by day, floor by floor, the Deutsche Bank building was carefully disassembled. It was a slow, somber process, a constant reminder of the tragedy that had occurred, but through this arduous process, the city showed its strength, its resilience, and its commitment to rebuilding and moving forward. The Deutsche Bank building, a victim of one of history's darkest days, stands as a symbol of resilience and rebirth. Finally, we turn our attention to Detroit, the home of the once majestic J.L. Hudson department store. This towering architectural marvel was more than just a store, it was an emblem of Detroit's booming mid-20th century economy. Hudson's, as locals fondly called it, was the tallest department store in the world when it opened its doors in 1912, and for many years it was the heartbeat of downtown Detroit. However, as the city's fortunes changed, so did Hudson's. The store closed in 1983, and the building, once a symbol of prosperity, became a stark reminder of the city's economic decline. The decision to demolish it was not taken lightly, but in 1998, the once great J.L. Hudson department store was reduced to rubble, in one of the largest controlled demolitions the world had ever seen. The J.L. Hudson department store, a symbol of Detroit's prosperous past, now lives on in the city's collective memory. And there you have it, a journey through the tallest building demolitions in the world. We've witnessed the fall of giants, from the Singer building in the heart of New York City, once the tallest in the world, to the Deutsche Bank building, a stark reminder of the tragedy of 9-11, and finally the J.L. Hudson department store in Detroit, a symbol of the city's golden age. These demolitions aren't just about tearing down structures, they're about making way for the new, about learning from the past and about respecting the history these buildings carry within their walls. It's a testament to the ever-evolving nature of architecture and how it shapes and is shaped by the society we live in. So what can we take away from this? That change is inevitable, and sometimes we need to dismantle the old to make way for the new. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech by World for more fascinating stories from the world of tech and architecture. Until next time, keep exploring.